The Apostle Paul was a great man of God who wrote more books in the Bible than anyone else. God used him greatly. But one thing you may not know about the Apostle Paul is he had an affliction. There was something that was wrong with him that was a hindrance to him. He called it a thorn in the flesh. He asked God three different times, God, please deliver me from this thorn in the flesh. Nobody knows exactly what it was. Could have been a spiritual affliction, could have been a physical affliction. We really don't know. Some people said that it was blindness, but he wanted it removed. The Apostle Paul probably felt like this thorn in the flesh was the one thing that was holding him back from living his full potential. He probably felt like it was the one thing that was holding him back from greatness. And if we could look at our lives right now, I'm sure that all of us could find something that exists in us or around us that we would change if we could. More than likely, if we look down deep enough in our hearts, we could all see a thorn in the flesh. But one thing that we've got to understand is the one thing that God didn't remove from Paul that he thought was holding him back from greatness was the one thing that actually made Paul great. Some of you have probably seen this guy before. He's an Australian preacher and he has no arms and no legs. If he had the opportunity to change that to where he would be born with arms and legs, he would say, sure, I wish I had arms and legs. But because of this man's disability, he has the ability to touch hearts and lives like nobody else can. So if you've got something in your life that you just truly wish that you could change and you've asked God to change it, you've tried with everything that you've got to change it, but it just stays the same, I want to encourage you not to look at this thorn or this hindrance as something that's holding you back, but look at it as something that is keeping you right where God wants you to be. The Apostle Paul found out that he had this thorn in the flesh so that he would not be exalted above measure, so he could stay humble and be used by God. And Jesus Christ spoke to him and said, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength will be made perfect in weakness. Sometimes our thorns makes us depend on God more. And then he goes on to say that he was thankful for this thorn so that the power of Christ could rest upon him. What I'm trying to say is God has you right where he wants you. Why don't you embrace that thorn, embrace that place that you are in your life, and let God work through you in that. And I can guarantee you, as soon as you embrace that and you accept that, God will remove that thorn or he will remove you or he will remove that person in his perfect time. But until then, you're going to be used by God.